Morning guys. So it is currently 11.23. Today is our last, our final day in Barcelona. <sighs> this place was great. I'm currently packing my stuff and holy crap, I bought too much stuff here. I literally am gonna have to leave a pile of things here. I really hope that the sweet lady who cleans this room, sweet lady, sweet man, whoever it is, I hope that they have a daughter who likes clothing because this is really, like the stuff I'm leaving behind is actually things that I really like, but I had to, I had to make some room in my luggage and of course I didn't want to leave behind the things that I just bought. Like here's the thing, whenever I'm out and about and I see something that, you know, I partially like I don't even have to fully like it I'll just partially like it I'll buy it and sometimes like almost immediately I'll instantly regret it or when I get home I'm like why did I buy this and that happened for a few of the things that I bought here <laughs> so I'm gonna have to leave things that I brought with me these are just things they're just objects if I have to leave something behind it's not like I'm leaving a child or something like super valuable to me. Actually, I think I'll leave a note because then otherwise I think they'll think that I just left them behind and then they'll probably leave them um, in lost and found. Whereas if I leave a note saying they're yours, maybe, maybe they'll keep them, I don't know. I pretty much finished packing. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. It's called Robot House. Last day walking the streets of Barcelona. It's pretty gloomy today, which is so nice. I love this weather. We are at an African restaurant now. I don't think I've ever tried African cuisine, so I'm really excited. Yum! restaurant we went to was called Kabongo and it was so good. It was delicious, I recommend, and now we're off to Sweden. Goodbye Barcelona! Such a great time here. So I'm really excited to go to Sweden now and experience Stockholm. around 11 20 and we got in we got in pretty late last night and we thought that you know in Spain it was so easy to find something to eat even when it was super late at night but we got here and it seems to be quite the opposite here everything is closed early here we could not find anything to eat and I was starving so we ordered uber eats and stayed up until like 3 waiting also the sun rises at 3 30 so we got to see that it was pretty interesting um and it it just never arrived because i'm sure there were no drivers out at that time so we went to bed and i was pretty hungry and this morning we missed breakfast <laughs> i haven't brushed my hair or anything we're just gonna run downstairs and hopefully um, get something to eat because we're we, we need something. Yay! This is what a desperate, hungry person looks like in the morning. Update this is the third hotel room we moved to, but we are at Via Dagmar. And wow, okay, this is definitely where it's at. It's in a beautiful location, old town, and the actual hotel hotel itself is gorgeous. I mean, look at these windows. They're beautiful. And we have a tub again. The other hotel room was incredibly small. There was no room to do anything really. It's already two. This little adventure has taken us a while, but I think we're going to finally go out and maybe get some lunch. Um, I'm pretty hungry. We haven't really eaten much since yesterday's lunch. Um, this morning we were able to get just a little bit of cereal 
and two tabs of juices and tea and coffee. Wow, it's just so beautiful. Everyone is so nice and friendly and I just, I love the environment. I love the weather too. Oh, tomorrow we leave to, we're going out to the middle of nowhere. I'm not too sure, but I think we're going to a little mountain town and spend the weekend there for midsummer. We are finally out and about. It's so beautiful out right now. For being mid-June, it's really chilly out. I'm wearing a freaking cardigan. I totally can see myself living here. I think I'm gonna have some pizza. Well deserved. I don't know what this is. I think these are potatoes. So good. This one has pistachios. want to try some amazing pizza squares you definitely need to come here this is amazing I don't understand any of this I really want to learn Swedish because I think it's such a beautiful language but I don't understand anything it was nice being in Spain because I understood everything but being here, it's like, I don't know what anything means. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. I'm gonna sit down and take some Swedish lessons, at least some basic phrases I need to know. And also, cause I don't know anything. I should at least know some phrases. And then also I have Pimsleur, which I use to learn French, but I'm gonna start doing Swedish on there. Just so I'm kind of, you know, I'm not completely lost. I don't know if anyone else can relate when a local looks at me and speaks their language to me, expecting me to know, I feel terrible and I feel like I'm letting them down when I speak English. <laughs> I'm gonna learn some basic phrases. Let's do it. I'm at the Italy Cafe, and of course it's another Italian place. I've made my way over to the port area. I took a 30 minute Pimsleur course um, in Swedish and I'm gonna have to retake the 30 minute course because it is a little hard. What did I learn? For some reason, my brain didn't retain any of that. So I definitely need to retake it. Honestly, everyone here seems to know English, which is nice. Oh, I know that, I know that Swedish is svenska, English is engelska, engelska. When you don't understand something, uh, jag förstår inte, I think. When you say, I understand a little Swedish, you say, jag förstår lite svenska. Jag förstår lite svenska. I think that's how you say it. And then when you ask somebody if they know English, you say Förstår du, förstår du engelske? Okay, so there we go. We're kind of, but I forgot to say how to say sorry. I don't know why, I'm very clumsy and I tend to bump into people. I need to learn how to say sorry in Swedish. I am at the grocery store now. And it's kind of cool going to a grocery store in a different country because you don't really know what they have. They're just checking everything out the way they organize things. I don't really understand 
um, the signs, but it's nice to just walk around. Even the grocery store is interesting. This is really just a cultural trip for me. I definitely want some nectarines. What are they called? Nectariner? <laughs> One thing I found that I love to do, and actually this may be a little weird, but I'll go into an aisle and I'll see what you know, a local grabs and puts in their basket and I'll go over look at the item and if I like it I'll put it in my basket and what if what I've been doing is like for example I wanted chips so I let a local choose my chips I think it's cool to um, check out the local picks if you will back at the room I just opened these chips and they're so freaking good these are the cheese doodles and they're vegan I can't really read the packaging. I'm not sure where they're from, but holy cow, these are so good. <laughs> mm. This is um, one of the things that I copied from <laughs> another person who was shopping. And these are the pepperoni chips. And she, this woman, I was looking for what chips I wanted to get, and this woman just walks into the aisle, picks up the bag of chips, and walks away. Like, she came in for these. Not anymore. It's about the same as America. Okay, we just had a delicious dinner. Now we're headed to a bar. Everyone here is so incredibly sweet. I'm ending it in the tub, ladies and gents. For now, Pip-Pip, cheerio. 